Hey guys, Max here. Um, in the last video <clears throat> for my Let's Play, I was thinking about making a spawner. So I went in creative and I had an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so I came up with this spawner. Um, I'm a hundred. Let's see, from here I'm. 135 off the ground, so stuff can spawn below me. I didn't take into effect that I wanted them to take fall damage. They they also don't take one hit to die when I hit them with my fist or anything. Um, as I have a enchanted sword here. I don't know why. Sharpness 2, Fire Aspect 1. Uh, which one hits them? It's a pretty um, reasonable sword because I can get that in my world quite easily. Um, so yes, this is the spawner. Yeah, this is um, The redstone is off, which means that um, the water is pushing them down. And I'll kill these guys and put it on. Put it on this. This spawner works pretty well. Uh, if you can see, there's a lot of mobs. Um, also, since this is, an, I want to make sure that I'm getting the most mobs spawning here. Um, I might play around with it a little bit more. And um, I've never done a water elevator, but I, I know how to do it. Um, so they f that right here. They fall down. I'll go up there in a minute and show you guys. Uh, they fall down here, and they come fall down. And um, up there is at like 140, like 150, which is, I think mobs spawn at um, one spawn away. They'll, they won't spawn within like uh, 144 or something like that. And then, yeah, I have um, so that spiders can, can't come out. Because spiders spawn, I mean, they don't really mess anything up um, too bad. But spiders do do come down here. So I have these half slabs so they don't come out. Um, let me go into creative mode and just get rid of some of this stuff. Oops, that's what I meant to do, but... Bye! What? I'm not throwing it off the side. There we go. That was a weird sound. There we go. That's what I meant to say. I built that enchanting table just so I could, I, it was kind of screwing around with enchantments. I guess you can get four enchantments on an item, but I don't think you can actually do it in um, single player, like survival. Because to get that, you need like 50 levels, and I don't think that the anvil lets you go that high. Okay, so let's go up there. This, the reason I wanted to build this is it's very simple design. Like, it takes a lot of blocks to make, um, just because, um, here I'll show you, so... So the redstone. The lever right now has the pistons closed. It comes up here. This way. Okay. It comes over here. And um, right here, these are the pistons. And there's water right. Let's see. There's water right here. Um, so yeah. And then when the pistons go, pistons right now are um, extended, blocking the water. And then when I turn off the signal, they will come up, and the water will flow down. I have to... What? Oh, yeah, I didn't put torches up here. Uh, let me do that real quick. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so then... Let me go down in here. Works pretty well. Okay, so this pad, it's kind of like an automatic wheat farm with the water. The water will flow seven blocks... And then it'll fall down the eighth, flow seven more blocks, go down the eighth, flow seven, go down, flow seven, go down, flow seven, go down, flow seven, go down, flow seven, come down to this last pad, and this one is eight long, so it'll come to this very end block, and it will just push them, and then they'll go into these channels and get pushed down into there. Um, and I don't know what's wrong with this, this is some kind of lighting glitch. Like, the room is completely sealed off, no half slabs, nothing that allows light in. It just is doing this, I don't know why. This, this love layer is like it too, it has one, it has one, oh no, it doesn't. Interesting. Um, but yes, the, this works pretty well, as you can see all the mobs in here. Um, it, it does take a lot of blocks, as you can see. Um, I did mine two, two layers high, just so I could, like, try and get more mobs to spawn. And I will probably be doing this on my world. Just because, uh, like, it works so well. I just have to, um... Dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to go through here. There you go. 
Um, the only thing is, I was trying to figure out what the world height was. I have no idea what it is. Because, okay, so I went from the ground. I just continued to fly up into the sky. I flew up at least six, I, I flew up like 700 blocks. And I found out nothing. So, yeah, didn't help me at all. Because I know that the world height is definitely not 700. I can assure you that it's not. I'm going to put these up here just to maximize spawnering. I don't know why. I want the torches to be nice and uniform. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right. All right, let's put it on peace real quick. And then, actually, let's go in here and see if we can see the mob spawn. I don't think we can, but I just want to see if I can. Part of the reason it's so long is because I know, f I know that you can't be like right next to mobs when they spawn. See, there they are, they're spawning. I know that you can't be right next to the mobs when they spawn, so it's just long so that like if if they're too if I'm too close at the end or down at the bottom, then they can just spawn on like if they can't spawn these first three pads, then they can spawn on these back pads over here, even though I know that they can. Oh shit. <laughs> I know they can spawn on the pads um in the front. Because I've seen them do it. Oh, where's that other where did I break that? There it is. So yeah. I will go out of the spawner and then I will come right back. I'll go down. Oop. Just fly around. Actually, let me see something. Let me get a potion of speed, swiftness. I don't need an axe. I don't even know I had an axe. Oh, I enchanted an axe. See what enchantments it could get. It gets fortune, but I don't even know what the point is. Apparently now I fly faster. I don't know, I just saw that in one in one video. Alright, so we're gonna go back up. We're gonna see how many mobs there are. There's a good bit. I'll go turn on the spawner. See how many there are above us. And this spawner is what I was going for in my technic world. If you've seen that video, you you know it's just um, it's like exactly the same, just not as long because I was at the world height, and um, not as big. All right, oops, oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, so I'll just wait here. Eight minutes. All right, some people. Change. They also changed. Here you go. One point four. They changed how high. Well, anvils whenever in the game, but anvils are point seven five blocks high. So you can't jump on the bookshelves. And also, uh, enchantment tables used to be one full block, but now there's 0.75 also, so you can't, like, jump onto stuff, which is fine by me. All right, so got a lot of ma mabs here. Oh, by skeleton. Oh, it didn't actually fall off. Yeah, it's pretty cramped for space in there. But I'm actually surprised at how well this works. Um, like I said, I can't work with complex redstone. Um... And the good thing about this is it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple design. Um, I just, t I, I, I had one originally, and it worked very well. But then I was like, well, if I make a second layer, maybe it'll work even better. How many entities are there? Only 30? 30, 34? Oh, well. Still a lot of mobs. Let's turn this back on. It's fun. Oh crap, it's in creative, that's right. Um, let me just put this back there. Oh, you're not. Oh, it's on, that's why. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. I might make, um. Oh no, I'll have to play with the design a little bit more, like I said. Just, let's put it on game mode. Sure, that way I can't break the pistons or anything. Oh, there's, it says there's 88, 90 mobs. Somehow I don't believe that, but... Because entities... I 
Also, the pistons are here so that, um, since it is too wide, and there are spiders, um, the pistons take into effect, or the chamber takes into effect the spiders, because I don't really feel like, um, changing the design just so that, um, I can kill the spiders. Just get a good, good bit of drops here. If I had a loot, looting sword, then this just be so like it's so much stuff in this oh well back to game mode one there you go alright let's fix this up that's part of the problem that's why that's also why I have half slabs cause it um cause then um the hoogee bobbies mobs can't see you or the creepers can't that's pretty much all I'm worried about move out of the way there you go Go away, spider. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is such a fail. Oh, well, it's, it'll be an easy fix. Okay, everything needs to go away. Alright, it's all patched up. I just have to... I know it's not, just kidding. Where the half slabs? Slaf habs, slaf habs. There. Go away, spider. Jeez. Okay, now I need to put. Pistons in, and then fix the redstone. Bye. Goodbye. That's your cue. You can leave too. Interestingly, I found out that um, half slabs they can let light in if um, you have two put together. I, f I found that weird. So I can get rid of this. Actually, I'll leave that like better with it. Um. Okay. So that I just wanted to show you guys. Um, if I build this, probably when I build the spawner, this is what I use. So, very simple design. Like I said, the only drawback it will use a pretty good deal amount of blocks. I mean, each each level will use fifty six blocks, except for this one. This one only uses sixty four. So this there's. It's two pads of 64, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 14 pads of 56 blocks, and then two pads of 64. So that's like looking at like a thousand blocks right there. Well, mm, pretty close to a thousand. Plus the walls, you're easily looking at a thousand plus blocks. So, um, it, it is a high cost, but if you're not good with redstone, then it is probably the mob, mob spawner for you. Um, and with that, I will leave you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a rating. I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. I don't know. I don't care if you favorite the video. I don't even know what that does. People always say it. If you don't, if it's the video's not your favorite, then don't favorite it. It's that simple. But if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Um, and thank you for watching. Peace.